Hello guys. Today I'm going to continue uh, what I talked for the last weeks, previous weeks, and I talk about members of the body again and again and again. So today I'm going to talk about the stomach. So I told you I start from bottom and go to up. I talk about knees, I talked about foot, I talked about legs and now we are coming up than waist. So I don't want to do anything with under the waist. From now on, we are talking about members of the body but above the waist. The first one is can't stomach someone or something. What does it mean that? To dislike someone or something very much. For example, I cannot stomach the new woman who I work with. Right? When you hate or you cannot tolerate or you are irritated by somebody or something. It doesn't need to have someone. It might be something. When somebody acts like a jerk and you dislike that person, it means that can't stomach that one. Or when you don't like, uh, for example, I don't like sushi. I cannot stomach sushi. When I eat sushi, I throw up. So I cannot tolerate sushi. I cannot eat, I guess, something raw. It should be cooked. Then the next one is difficult to stomach. Someone or something. Again, all the expression about the stomach is about something or someone, right? So it doesn't make any difference. That feeling or that expression applies to someone or something. Uh, for example, let me, before I go to the next one, something God put this on my heart, I, I tell you. When uh, you ask someone or you ask a question and then you say someone answer that someone someone that someone maybe you don't like that someone maybe you hate that someone so you are or uh, another thing that they say God something good for you maybe you don't like that something so it's that um, it said can stomach something even it's good can stomach something good the next one is difficult to stomach someone or something to be unable to accept someone to be unable to accept something that you think is unpleasant or wrong that's so true for everybody when I cannot accept that maybe everybody said, oh, you have to accept. No, I cannot accept something or someone who is wrong. That's natural. Nobody should accept something or someone who is wrong. So I cannot accept never ever. It is difficult to stomach false teachers when they begin to start telling lies. When they telling lies, I cannot accept that. Difficult to stomach false teachers. And then, eyes are bigger than one stomach. For example, when you go to restaurant, or especially when you go to all you can eat restaurant, then you see all the food there. And when you are hungry, you want to eat, 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 eat. 
you are hungry and you are to all you can eat restaurant the Chinese restaurant for example Mandarin Chinese restaurant you go there and sit in Chinese restaurant and you want to eat but your eyes are bigger than one stomach your eyes are bigger than your stomach it means that taking more than food than one can eat and uh, French, ancient French. I was reading about the royal family in the French. They eat. They didn't have anything to do except eating or have pleasure. So they eat, they eat, 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 and then they are full. They stomach were full. So they didn't want miss the pleasure of eating they wanted to eat more although their stomach were full but although their stomach has no empty space they didn't have any empty space but they want to eat more so they come with a solution the solution was put something on to your mouth until you throw out <laughs> sorry about that they put something on to their mouth, they threw out, their stomach was empty again, they can eat and eat and eat. So sometimes vomiting is good in that case. So vomiting is good because you can eat more and more and more and more. My eyes were bigger than my stomach when I went to the buffet table and took too much food. The next one is get butterflies in one stomach. To get a feeling or fear or anxiety in one stomach. When you meet a beautiful girl, when you meet a cute boy, then maybe you have a feeling. I'm not talking about love in the first sight, but you have a feeling, at least you have a feeling when you meet somebody. Not everybody. Somebody, when you meet somebody for the first time, maybe you have a feeling about that person. And it called butterfly in the stomach. It can be positive or negative. For example, positive said that when you meet your crush, you have a feeling for that person, then you feel butterfly in your stomach but when you have a test that's a negative one when you have a test and you are nervous you feel butterfly in your stomach as well that's normally normally when you see your crush you feel butterfly not have the stomach for something again I told you It applies to something or someone, even somewhere. To have no desire to do something because you think that is unpleasant or wrong. When you think something is not wrong, maybe people push you to a certain direction, but you no, there is something wrong. There is something fishy, a smell fishy. So you cannot uh, persuade yourself. You cannot uh, accept that direction. Because even you cannot, you shouldn't trust God. Everybody said, Christian said, oh, trust God completely. How? How can you trust God completely when it doesn't make sense? When it doesn't make sense, you have to have a reason because faith is not blind. You should have a reason for your faith. That's why people ask you, why do you believe in God in the first place? 
you have to believe in God, then trust God. If you don't believe in existence of the God, like my sister, they don't believe in God. So if they ask me, why do you believe God? What should I say? They say, oh, God, something that punish you. God has something that have a stick. If you are wrong, if you do wrong thing, God punish you. Should I present God to them like this or what? You can answer for me this question. What is God like? God is punishing children, his children or not? And then when you have no desire to do something. I don't like that. I cannot go on a street and talk to people. It's not my duty, it's not my job, it's not my uh, calling, nothing at all. I cannot go to the street and talk to people. I'm not comfortable. I'm introvert. I cannot go to the street and talk to people. So I can talk about good news by my ministry on the camera and everybody can listen to good news but I cannot go to the street and talk to people turn someone's stomach to make someone feel sick to disgust someone when you see someone Actually, I feel that. I shouldn't feel it, but I feel that. When I see someone, I don't want to see that, that person because I disgusted that person. I don't want even be uh, 10 kilometers away from that person. I disgust that person. Because everything that related to that person is disgusting. I cannot tolerate that person. So I cannot be in the same place with that person at all. Even if there is a conference, if there is a you know, seminar, a conference, and there is a lot of people there, I cannot be in the same place with that person. I cannot. The sight of the dead dog on the road turn my stomach. Turn the stomach, it means that feel sick. You know, you physically feel sick sometimes. Not it's it's not just the it's not just the feeling. Sometimes you physically feel sick when you meet somebody or in presence of somebody. So it's desire that not to go somewhere or not to meet or not to be in the same place with that person. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Cooking for a man is a good way to win his affection. It's a uh, good expression and uh, they say that if you want to uh, get affection from a man, cook for that man. And an army marches on in a stomach. That's another expression that you must eat properly if you want to perform task well. You cannot do anything with the empty stomach. You cannot do anything by um, and, and if you are hungry, even they say if you are hungry, then maybe you deny Jesus Christ as well. Because where is God when I'm hungry? Where was God when I was hungry? Where? So you cannot doubt God. You can. You can doubt God when you are hungry. Where is God? Then I'm hungry. Of course. I have enough food to eat. 
I'm so blessed that I have a place to live, I have enough food in the fridge, and I updated my studio and my living. I'm so blessed because of that I can drive a car and when I drive and I see people on the street waiting for the bus I thank God because I already experienced that Canada winter is so hard and if you want to wait for the bus like I used to do it I know how hard is it to wait on the bus but now I drive and I'm comfortable and I thank God so much because of that and the other one is sour stomach or upset stomach unable to digest easily when you have an upset stomach then when you eat food you cannot digest it one of the things that you should thank for and everybody get it for advantage because you eat easily and you eat whatever you want and you digest it easily but but you cannot um, if you not able to eat and digest food what what you what you should do maybe you don't have a teeth maybe you have something wrong with the stomach and you cannot digest food what you should do you have to be thankful if you're able to eat food another one is stomach churning if you describe something as stomach churning, you mean that it is so unpleasant that it makes you feel physically sick. I told you, sometimes not only you have a bad feeling, but also you are physically sick because of something or someone. Beer belly, a man's fat stomach caused by excessive consumption of beer. That's another one. On these diets, it was all or nothing. There could be no half-hearted commitment because the slightest hesitation usually produces a stink belly buster. So, another one is yes. belly buster. Belly buster has two definitions. The one is full commitment and the other one is nothing nothing to do with that one they are completely two different definitions the next one is another definition is a belly buster is someone who masturbates will prefer to ejaculate to his stomach rather than using the tissue or clinics and the last one the last one is definition of belly up hopelessly ruined or defeated especially bankrupt the business when belly up when your situation is hopeless but you have no way and you don't know what to do that's belly up that's for today uh, I hope you get what you wanted to get from this video peace of God be with you all